Welcome to the Stade Jean Bouin for a clash between two of the continent's best with whom aspirations and expectations of success are never questioned. Not an occasion this time where anything less than a win steepens the gradient on the path to the knockout stages of the Champions League. The stakes are high for PSG and Bayern Munich even on match day two. PSG have no points on the board after defeat to Ajax in Amsterdam. Bayern saw three become one when they choked in a two-goal lead against Roma. These two have met in the knockout stages over the years, but no margin for error is minimal this evening in Paris. Both clubs are playing in their third successive Champions League group stage. They've been involved in European competition for considerable time before that, and since the tournament's refurb, they have been in the groups each time. Both of them making the quarter-finals last season. PSG succumbing to Wolfsburg 2-1. Bayern to Arsenal by the same margin. Bayern come here top of their domestic league. Six wins and a couple of draws for them so far this season. Including a huge victory over at Wolfsburg at the start of the month. The PSG supporter are watching their side try and play catch up domestically. They have a few games in hand on Leon. And they're looking at how they can keep on their coattails. In contrast to Bayern, who are trying to get as far away as possible from. Their domestic neighbours, but tonight both of them are playing catch-up. A draw for Bayern on match day one, which they'll be hugely disappointed with, given they were in control at 2-0 up. Yes, she struggled over in the Netherlands. Ajax topping the group at the moment. And their first involvement in the group stages of the Champions League. PSG boss Jocelyn Brochure has admitted the pressure is on. That defeat for them. And Amsterdam has complicated their route to the knockouts. This is seen as the hardest game, certainly on paper, when the draw was made for PSG. They're the toughest opponents. Anyway, same for Bayern. And it's a huge 90 minutes that's about to unfold in front of us here. If the visiting side can triumph, a four-point gap may prove to be insurmountable. And if Ajax and Roma keep the end of the bargains, there's only room for one.
Constance Pico and Sandy Baltimore are unavailable for PSG tonight. Katarina Kietronek has the gloves while Corbin Albert comes into midfield. Sakina Kashawi missed the weekend's win over Fleury but starts at left back. Captain Grace Goyoro played in both of PSG's Champions League final defeats in 2015 and 2017. Refereeing team this evening are Spanish, Marta Huerta Diaz is the decision maker. Here. The Bayern captain with Grace Gallardo, long time servant in Paris. Ivana Damjanovic is Bayern's form attacker at the moment with four goals in five, including the opener against Roma on match day one. Clarabel will start on the left but tends to have more of a free role up there. Katarina Nashwing behind her has settled in well after joining from Hoffenheim in the summer. She'll look to get forward from left back. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. Varian band in Paris this evening. A much noisier. Home support, nothing new there. There is history between PSG and Bayern in the Champions League. And it's not history that makes kind reading for tonight's visitors. Twice they've faced each other in the quarterfinals and twice they have lost but they can land a significant blow on PSG this evening if they can leave here with the three points Alexander Strauss has actually said he hopes for a bit of revenge for those historical matters most recently in 21-22 it's a cracking tie that went to extra time Ramona Bachman scored to make it 4-3 on aggregate. And this is a game in which the glamour is matched by its importance. By no means is qualification dangling by a thread for either. But there's more than just an element of jeopardy here. The consequence of losing carries weight, especially for PSG without a point so far. to go down the line for Chowinga. Out muscles Nash and Wing superbly. Yoro showing. Dangerous cutting in from the right hand side onto the left foot. Chowinga, she's given it to Albert though. And that's a rather comfortable first touch for Gross. does know the urgency and he recognised it pre-match. He knows that the Bayern boat isn't too far in front, certainly not over the horizon. He'll overtake them if they win this evening with four games still to go in the group stage, so plenty of football to be played. The PSG have to roll their sleeves up here because they're relying on other teams slipping up as well. Really, will happily take the foul as Stanway tried to steal it from her. 
stranger to a yellow card, Georgia Stanway, but two minutes in rather early. Martins looking for Katoto. Bayern more than happy in possession at the back. Dalman to Brazil. And Gwyn all the way back to our goalkeeper. You could see Julia Gwyn back in the Bayern side after such a torrid time with injury. Missed all of last season with our second ACL rupture. The world turned upside down really after such a promising 2019 World Cup for Germany. Still made up. She could sense Leah Schuller beginning to breathe down her neck. Delmeda will carry from centre back all day if she's allowed to. Katoto drops short for Martins. Wait for Chawinga, who hasn't broken the trap. Flag up immediately on the far side. But Bayern breached there through the middle. Alexander Strauss perhaps just looking at how Delmeda was allowed to come forward under a little pressure and find Katoto. It's not often you hear a manager publicly say that a team are out for revenge. A couple of Bayern's journeys have been ended at the hands of PSG. Here goes Gwyn, who's still allowed to carry forward, resists temptation to shoot. Bull. Glad Brazil. Dalman. When it stayed forward. Karshawi. With a bit of breathing space to look up and try and clip it into the feet of Katoto. for Claire Hunt. New arrival in Paris. Just to play our way into the World Cup team of the tournament this summer. As Australia came up short in their attempts to win the home tournament. Karshevi surfing a slightly different wave to the Almeida. Back's arms are all over Damjanovic, and the whistle does go. Biggest dot here. Looking for the run of Bill, and that's a header back towards goal, which is just going to be kept out. That's maybe the second attempt from Kedranek. There's really gestures, calm down, no problem, but the alarm bells were blaring as that bounced and bobbled towards Kedranek's goal. And she had to get a second hand on it as well. Parisian hearts and mouths early on. And 
hitters. Les really looking forward to Winga. Gioro, the third player running, spotted Kitoto, but Magdalena Eriksson was there to read the play. Here comes Dalman. De Almeida resists the shot tug this time, although Damjanovic has gone down once the ball had been played away. Bull looking to link up with Sheila. Nacho Winga. Testing Nash and Wing's pace. Getting there first. There's space for Gioro, there's space for Martins too. Nacho Winga waits for the ca cavalry. Provided by Drennan. He scored the 97th minute winner against FC Fleury at the weekend. An absolutely vital goal in the bigger picture of the title race. Already beaten by Leon this season, PSG. A couple of games in hand, mind you, but they don't want to be chasing, especially when they're dropping more points. That Groening goal really, without overdoing it, could keep the title race alive at this early stage of the season. Vegas dot here. And Ericsson. Bayern in the Champions League after winning the title last season. A couple of points clear of Wolfsburg. Jackie Grenin picks up. And then Goyoro takes the dig from the edge of the area, not caught cleanly and sailing harmlessly. Over the bar as Bayern tried to play their way out of trouble. Digging a deeper hole, but Goyoro unable to trouble. Maria Gross in the Bayern goal. Damjanovic looking to get there ahead of the Almeida. Dalman there for support. PSG first to the ball and Liz really sends it into the path of Chavinga. and scans. No use on the half turn. Car show it. Good slides it. It was a final day. It could have had drama in the German top flight, but Bayern really just got the job done as quickly as possible. They were 7 0 up at half time in their pursuit of the championship, eventually beating Turbine Potsdam 11 1 on the final day. We went to the final day after a 0 0 draw with Leverkusen, but undeterred. They went the extra mile on the final day, almost scoring a dozen. The total back to Kashawi. Here's Gioro. Hunt for Chavinga. and has to be aware of Martins. One of the marquee signings of the summer in Europe. 
Magdalena Eriksson and Pernil Harder coming to Bayern from Chelsea. Harder injured at the moment with a knee problem. Liz really has to keep her wits about her here. Here's Nash and Wang looking to get into crossing territory. Can't get past the Almeida. Here's Gioro. Putting themselves into trouble now though, PSG. Schiller. Opportunity to pull the trigger for Bull, saved by Kretzmanek. With an unwavering commitment to playing out from the back. Almost creating even more trouble for both sides so far in this game. So we the targets. Eriksen in our way, no qualms. Here's Damjanovic. Got slightly late by Hunt. Great awareness from Schiller to spot Bill. Strong goalkeeping from the pole. Back to Vegas Dot here. With their title win, Bayern are one of four teams to qualify automatically for the Champions League this season, along with Chelsea, Lyon, and Barcelona. PSG finished six points behind Lyon in the top flight last season, so they had to go through the league path to qualify. Manchester United 4-2 on aggregate. One one draw in England, followed by a 3-1 victory in Paris. Fatal double from Luca Martins on the evening. Helping make sure of that. Almeida puts the periscope away. Just show you the easy option. Her pass snuffed out by Nash and Wing. Towing up. A low centre of gravity making her twists and turns so hard to predict. Literally. Ruining. I think she'd spotted Katoto and Martins loitering at the back post. Katoto not giving Vigas Dottier an inch. Was really Heart rates probably back to the expected number after that scary moment earlier on in the half when our header back towards Cage Net. Looked like it might have snuck into the corner.
be sorted again. The only player not to miss a game for Bayern domestically last season. Her style of play almost mirrored with Elisa de Almeida at the back for PSG. Both of them will progress with the ball, they'll carry it until their hearts are content into midfield. Almeida gets her toe to the ball before Leah Schiller can send it wide. The switcher plays on this time for Nash and Wing. Schiller looking to burst in behind. Hunt alive to the threat. Stanway quiet so far for Georgia Stanway. Nahar and Sarah Zadrazil are very fond of playing next to each other in midfield there for Bayern. Wing takes again. Sadrazil has a couple of yards. And Grennan arrived on the scene a fraction too late. A Dutch judo champion in her youth. Getting a bit too caught up in the nostalgia with a tackle like that. Jackie Grennan. Almost midway through the first half, and this is the first time either team has had to contend with a free kick in a dangerous area. towards the back post, but it's kept alive, and it's nodded into the back of the net. Oh, that's the ball firmly in PSG's court now. Bayern take the initiative. Vegas Dottier gets her head to it. And as two of them contest for it right on the line, it comes in off Ericsson last. PSG had taken their eyes off Schiller and Ericsson. Criminal at this level. And if the Parisians were on thin ice at kickoff, well, it's more precarious now. And signed for our work at the other end of the park. Magdalena Eriksson makes her presence felt in the opposite 18. Katarina Krezenek must have Taking a knock in the process. But for all Bayern's attacking flair and talent in the final third. It's a cross into the box and it's the two centre halves that combine for the opener. Jamingo looking to latch on to that and rather easy for Gross. As the flag stayed down here, indeed it has for Linda Dalman initially. Goes 
up after a moment of consideration. She had definitely straight into the PSG half, but I wonder if Claire Hunt was playing her on side there. Here's Giotto. She needs support. She was for goal herself, and the angle too tight. It was thought it was definitely saved by Maria Gross. That must be the point Giotto's making. The supporting cast just hadn't read up on their lines. As Giorgio bore down on goal. PSG beaten just once at home in the Champions League group stages. Chelsea left here with a 1-0 victory last season. Roma got off to a good start by coming back to draw 2-2. With Bayern on match day one, that's who PSG have next. Eriksen gets away with one as Gioro pressed. Nash and Wen looking for Damjanovic. Hunt one and receives again. Giro certainly with the license to provide the support in the third run through the middle this evening. Katoto. Seems to be dropping shorter and shorter to try and get involved in the play. Can't show we know. Stranger to the measure pass into the feet of the PSG forwards. That comes Martin's way. She rides Gwyn's tackle. Support from Giorgio. Karshawi now. Gets alive at the back post. Chawinga had it gambled. Excellently won by Katoto. And winning it again here is Chawinga. That's fairly won though on the edge of the 18 and perhaps a counter in the offing. Stotter has to act quite quickly to keep possession with Bayern and Karshawi hadn't checked her rear view because here's Damjanovic looking to get in behind space for the shot ball across what a massive opportunity for Leah Schuller this slips through Bayern's grasp wonderfully engineered by Damjanovic the presence of mind to spot her partner Maybe just came at her a tad too quickly. The PSG are barely struggling. Maria Gross between Bayern sticks at all. And another one for the visitors. At the moment, makes any prospect of a comeback seem quite fanciful. And you buy on half previous, you just have to look at what happened against Roma on match day one.
Here's PSG looking to get in behind again as Chawinga tries to slot it into Gioro's path. Here's Clara Bull. PSG have to be alive here with Claire Hunt trying to and succeeding to get there ahead of Damjanovic. Martens, who's been quiet so far on the left hand side for PSG. Any danger so far has been constructed down the right with Chawinga. Her quick feet being utilised more often than not. Sizable task facing PSG to score not just once but twice. Now against the side that's kept 16 clean sheets in 22 league games last season. Big start here. Clara Bull. Has decided to come over and give the right flank a try. Sadrazi will drop from the central midfield area into the half space to pick up possession. Leah Schiller. Hadn't quite arranged the radar properly. Time lately for PSG. The match against Wincom postponed after the match against Stad Dream was abandoned midway through. Just at the start of the second half when fireworks were being thrown onto the pitch from outside the stadium. It's PSG have gone from having two games in the space of a month to five in two weeks. Montpellier here on Sunday. The fifth game. And there's the international break where there's a bit of a rest for some players in both camps. Plenty will be involved though. Tackle again by Damjanovic. Exquisitely taken by Nash and Wing. Second bite here. Stanway. Here's the English international again. Looking to slide it through. 
and the touch gets away. What an opportunity as the right back, Julia Gwynn, broke forwards. She must have been flagged offside in the eventuality. And Stanway's first eye of the needle thread, really. Sakina so Karshawi over in unusual territory to win the free kick. Maria Gross has been pretty much an onlooker for the last 20 minutes or so. And for Les really who didn't seem ready for it. PSG have made a mess of that. Nash and going forward. I'll show it. Martins. Corbin Albert, who's into the starting lineup this evening after coming off the bench against Fleury at the weekend. Martins for Tawinga. The flag stayed down, and that's a corner to PSG. Vigas Dottier over preventing the cross. These sort of situations might present PSG with their most fruitful opportunities. Bayern have got the number in open play so far. Grenin's delivery. Down and into the hands of Maria Gross. An effort on target for PSG. You don't want to give Mani Antoinette Kitoto to many of them. Space for Gwyn. Demjanovic with the loose touch. Chawinga. Direct whenever possible. Albert for Grenin. Albert. Oh, Liz really. Chemingo accelerates. Looking to get round the outside. Chance to ball across. And Katoto at the front post. Can't divert it goalwards. Gioro. Touch gets away from her and Vigas Dottier. Manages to work with a few teammates to get it clear for Bayern. All the danger emanates from the right hand side for PSG. Well, it is this evening.
Katarina and Nash and Weng is giving the illusion of an uncomfortable left back when Tavinga is in possession and squaring up to her. Still in the early days of his role here at PSG, Jocelyn Prusher. It's his 10th game in charge, and that includes the abandoned match against Stad Rim. Replaced his dad, Gerard, who departed at the start of the season. Champions League winning manager. Gerard Crochet won it with Leon. Bayern have his son's team at arm's length as we head towards the final five minutes of the half. Touchless and Hunt and literally conspire to make a mess of it. Shula brought the ball down with her hands. According to Marta Huerta de Aza, the referee this evening. Take maximum points here. Their next home game, or the next game in this group at home to Ajax, will provide them with the opportunity to stretch further clear of PSG should they manage to keep this disparity or make it a bigger one. Gwyn. Oh, that's clumsy. Very clumsy. De Almeida and Dalman coming together in the box. Wow. Well, De Almeida looks to have taken a sore one in the process. But that's a big, big call from Marta Huerta de Aza. Quite surprising to see a lack of Bavarian shouts for a penalty. Extreme pain and discomfort here. Del Meda. Will be interesting to hear Alexander Strauss's view on that if this game gets away from Bayern. And such a crucial time of the first half as well. Martins. Albert. 
squeezes it through for Grenon. No car showing. Chance for Bayern to go top of the group for the time being. If they leave here with the win, Roma host Ajax later on. Easy catch for Maria Gross. Stottier back to Gross, who elects to go long for a change. That should bang for Magdalena Eriksson, whose goal is the difference. She won't finish many easier chances than that throughout her career. She had to make sure she was in the right place at the right time. Doesn't happen by accident. No, well, now, Gioro. After Bill dispossessed. But PSG happy to remain patient despite the late stage of the first half now being upon us. Kashawi angling one towards Katoto. Needed a few more yards. Brennan's touch loose. And that allows Bayern to race clear. Here comes Stanway. PSG have the numbers just wide for Schiller. And as that goes to Leisurely. That takes the sting out of any threats that Bayern brought forward with them. Clumsy from Clara Bull. PSG just can't get themselves into any kind of groove at the moment. The impending 15-minute break. Can't come quickly enough, I would ascertain for Jocelyn Brochure and his team. Brennan Damjanovic communicating with eye contact. Breaks for Stanway. Maybe they'll twist the knife right at the end of the half. Bill. Dale made up. Seemingly okay to continue and able to clear. Vigo Stottier. And behind for Leah Schuller. Who bent her run beautifully. And comes the cross and. Pietro Neck is able to claim. Four time Champions League runner up, Katarina Pietro Neck. Missed a penalty in the 2017 final against Leon. And the shootouts should clarify. Martins, maybe one last first half, first half chance for PSG. Giro looking to clip one to the back post, and they did carve it out. And Tabitha Chuinga, the top scorer this season, can't divert it back across goal and into the corner. That's the first time that since they took the lead, Bayern have been troubled by any sort of pace or PSG verve. Comes to nothing. And Magdalena Eriksson's tapping is what means Bayern are heading in 1-0 at the break. 
a rather controlled and commanding first half performance from the Bavarians. TSG's prospects of qualification getting slimmer the longer this goes on after defeat to Ajax on match day one. They need to do something to turn this around. And despite the attempts on target from PSG, they haven't been troubling. Bayern have been able just to fend them off without too much fuss. And they took their chance when it came along at the other end. The centre halves combined, Vigas Dottier and Eriksson. And they'll be the happier at the break, no doubt. At half time, it's PSG nil, Bayern Munich 1. you were able to give your team the lead with a very good executed heater but tell me what was your analysis of the first half so far I think it's a very even game I think it's two teams who are really good they want to play football I think it's been an exciting game to play I think we have been really strong and uh, eliminated them from creating the really really big chances and for us it's about just staying good on the ball and trying to control the game even more because as you know, a 1-0 lead and still 45 minutes to play, anything is possible. What yeah. can we expect for that second half? Yeah, for sure. They're going to come at us. They need this win. Uh, so we can expect that they're going to come at us with everything they've got. And we have to uh, be strong and we have to, to fight hard against it and hopefully uh, go for a second goal as well. OK, then last question. The game so far, has it been as you expected? I think so. I expected two even teams. Uh, I'm really pleased the fact that we are going into this halftime with one lead. But uh, it's a big shift left and uh, yeah, everything to play for. So we have to be ready in the second half. OK, thank you. Thank you. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. the Wi-Fi on your kids' devices, helping them to switch off and drift off. This is New EE. It is MMA's richest night of the year. When did you last really feel something? Extraordinary. Feel it now on PlayStation 5. Peloton is more than a bike. It makes strength, boxing, or maybe yoga your new thing. 
it turns a run into a pretty epic workout. Just maybe not today. It's a calming word when you need it most. Begin to relax. And if you need a quick break, it's your perfect escape. It makes working out work out for everyone. This is Peloton. Slide and strong, wow. Turn around and stick it up, wow, wow. Fine, fine specimen, wow. Drop it down now, pick it up, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Drop it down now, pick it up, wow, wow. Wow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. Drop it down now, pick it up, wow, wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Peloton is more than a bike. It makes strength, boxing, or maybe yoga your new thing. It turns a run into a pretty epic workout. Just maybe not today. It's a calming word when you need it most. Begin to relax. And if you need a quick break, it's your perfect escape. It makes working out work out for everyone. This is Peloton. Feel it now on PlayStation 5. PlayStation. It is MMA's richest night of the year. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah. You remind me of butterfly dogs. Waist tight with a body like gold. Bitch with the baggy fresh pose. Google Pixel 8. Red light, green light, go. I wish I was a writer, a ceaseless yet unseen. I wish I was a prayer, expressing what I mean. I wish I was a person with unlimited bliss. I wish I was a heartbeat that never comes to rest. Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. Welcome back to the Stade Jean Bouin in Paris. We have the home side PSG trail. Bayern Munich 1-0 as we prepare for the second half on match day two of the Champions League the Parisians in a rather precarious position having lost their opener against Ajax they now need to score twice to overcome the Germans who are making a change to their team for the second 45 with Sydney Lohmann. 23 year old German coming on. Looks like PSG have a change of their own. That's Emily Vansgaard down there at the touchline. Leah Schuller. Heads off for Bayern. Marie Antoinette Katoto, who struggled for any joy in the first half, is replaced by Emily Vansgaard, the day. She had a sensational goal scoring record with Lynn Copping. 22 and 25 before she signed in Paris in January. Can she drag Jocelyn Trochure's team? Onto level terms or better. The ice on which PSG stand has certainly thinned after that goal from Magdalena Eriksson. Centre half signing from Chelsea. And a bit of goal scoring form, I suppose. She did score against Werder Bremen at the weekend as well as Bayern Munich 1 2 0. Linking up with Loman. Someone had fallen foul with the last line. Delmeda, who took a knock in the first half at a point where she was perhaps fortunate not to give away a penalty. Okay to continue. And Vance Guards. First involvement is to give our team a corner. The first cast of the die from Prussia. Koshoe drives in Delmeda. Who's there? 
And it goes her way with her opposite number, Ericsson, getting the final touch. Take two for Koshavi. Commanding goalkeeping. As Gross claims. Lomans. First involvement looking for Dalman. Really, Tavinga heading one way, the ball went the other. Damjanovic with the strength she's shown for pretty much the entire game so far, fending off Grenin this time, but she was able to do it as well in the first half with Hunt and De Almeida. Says the result for PSG tonight and their ultimate journey in the Champions League will determine how valuable this season has been for them. Recognised this evening as a decisive game. Yes, Clarabel skipping away from Chavinga with a bit too much wind in our sails. For Giotto. Clever touch round Nashenbank. And a clever pass as well as Martens sneaks in behind. Liz really trying to pull the same trick from up her sleeve. I think she's won a fill. Hometown girl. Jade Liz really been at PSG since she was 12 years old. Looking like they have a bit more intent about them at the start of the second half, PSG. Grenin's delivery. And that's a big old waste from the Dutch midfielder. This time. Stanway. Sends it way back to the England midfielder. He sends it down the line for Gwen. Cross comes in towards Damjanovic. Munich cry handball. Dalman. And that definitely came off the Serbs' arms. But it was they initially making the case for the decision. And the title in his first season at Bayern Munich, Alexander Strauss. Looking to make his mark in the Champions League now with a very talented group of players. Beaten in 
the quarters last season by Arsenal, beaten by PSG in the quarters the season before that. They have reached, they have reached the semi-finals a couple of times. 2019, 2021, Barcelona and Chelsea. A hurdle too much. PSG have fallen at the final hurdle twice. 2015 and 2017. Karshawi, able to get away from a couple, but not Vigas Dottier. Dalman steps in and sees the space. already in the dugout. Another one by Vansgaard. He's had a good impact since coming on. Two winger might have to do this all herself. Bearing down on goal. Well saved by Gross. Who's already had more to think about at the start of the second than in the entire first 45. Fans guards made a difference. And you can't get too close to Tabitha Chewinga in your own 18 yard box. Eriksen alive to the threat, as was the last line of defence, Maria Gross. Really. Well, there was nowhere to go for Ericsson. Vansgaard takes over. Enticing cross. Comes down to Grenin who pulls the trigger. After a very quiet, shy first half for PSG, they've come out a different team here. Gross knew it was sailing over. But now they're either creating chances or forcing Bayer to make them for them in the high press. Looks to work for them again here. Grenin scored the late winner against Fleury at the weekend. And for Chewinga, she looks to lay it off her advance guard here. Will come the shot now from Martins. All hands on deck for Bayern. Don't think there will be any complaints about this yellow card for Jade. Visually. It's on to the toes of Nash and Vink, painful one. Janovic, who had the third player run, but does again so well to fend off the Almeida. Bit of intent here about Bayern. As Gwynn looks to cross, it's a poor attempt at finding a teammate. Martins 
is it Tigioro? Looking for Vansgaard. Tobinga looks to keep the attack going. Maybe Stoltier steps in. into the opposition box and troubling the opposition goalkeeper has been a bit noticeable in PSG this season. Now they're having to contend with some defending here as Sidney Lohman at half-time substitutes clips that one a bit too high. PSG have been trying to work their way into dangerous positions, but domestically, anyway, they've taken only a third of the number of shots on goal that Leon have. And that's even taking into account the disparity in the games played at the moment. PSG haven't been as lethal as they might expect to be domestically. They have one five games, just lost the single match against Leon. That needs to be made up somewhere. Finished six points behind the current leaders last season. actually there. Looks to go forward and it might come the way here of Damjanovic. It must have been Kudergwin who had straight. Lorena Fazer will enter the fray for PSG now. Off comes Corbin Alberts. We'll see under 20 international. Replaced by one of PSG's youth products, Lorena Fazer, been here for over a dozen years now. Playing alongside one of her idols in Grace Gioro. Looks like it might have been an enforced change. Janovic is making life very difficult for Claire Hunt and Elisa Belmeda on occasion as well with her strength and ability to read the play in the bounce of the ball. Hunt down the throat of the Bayern half. Coughed straight back up by PSG. So Brazil. Bill. Nice and big. Ivana Damjanovic, a Champions League winner. Won it with Wolfsburg back in 2014. Bayern for a while now, though. This is our seventh season. And towards Damjanovic it goes. Again, the hold-up play looks like it can aid Bayern's attacking intent. Nash and Ving. 
wanted the space to shoot. Has to rely on Bill for support. And the cross drops over Damjanovic and Sidney Lohman. He has no qualms in bringing Sidney Lohman off the bench. Alexander Strauss, he has said that she's a world-class young player. Not getting as many starts this season as she would have hoped. Just the two so far. Here, picking up the pieces in midfield for PSG. Fazer. Didn't scan as she picked up possession. Here for Zadrazil. Ericsson for Nashenbank. And there's really can't afford too many of them with a yellow return in. Steps in. Dot here. Those were the armbands at Bayern, but there is a captaincy trio at the club. A little leadership gang which consists of Vigas Dot here and the two central midfielders playing in front of her this evening. Not unusual to see Sarah Zadrazil or Georgia Stanway taking on as much leadership as Vigas Dot here at the back. Here goes Martin, sight of goal, and it's deflected wide. It's PSG side through the Bayern midfield. Maria Gross felt concerned enough to get down. Deflection made her life rather easier. For a split second anyway, but she has to be focused here as the delivery is sent in. And nobody in navy blue paying attention to the clearance. Allows Nashenveng to race clear as much as she can. Back in for Lohman. And a bit of miscommunication between Drennan and Kedronek. Gave Bayern the opportunity to trouble them further, not taken. Nashenbeck, all the way back to Eriksson, and Stanway. Beautiful pass into the feet of Dalman.
Nice and big. Well taken by Bill. Well, this is wonderful from Bayern. Bill retreats. Hunt there. Oh, she's eased past her, but back comes late. Jade Lee's really to stop Bayern, and in particular Clara Bull in her tracks. Martin's effort. A moment to go. Not enough to cause any significant concern to the visitors. We'll take the first corner of the evening. Gone short with the two on one. The Almeida wanted another body out there. And Groenin and Vansgaard are there. Vansgaard's there at the front post. To send it behind for another Bayern corner. PSG have been slowly making their way back into contention. I'll be happy to see that drop behind for a goal kick. Gifted straight back to the Bavarians, though. Dalman. This pass picked up by Zadrazil. Russian Bay. Bayern are imperious in the Champions League group stages. They've won eight of their last ten group games. Lost to Barca last November. And the draw with Roma to begin this campaign. But generally, they are very difficult to overcome. PSG. Of including injury time, 25 odd minutes here to find one goal, never mind two. Even that win. One's the team a corner. Pressure on here for PSG. Oh, and it's wonderfully kept out by Kjetsrenik. Arms made of elastic. Huge chance for the visitors to go 2-0 in front. Point blank range straight at her. Well, she had to get something on it. Fans guards contending. Eriksson being awarded the foul. Looks rather clear cut. Might have come off Guillaume as she marked Vigas Dottia. Superb reflexes from the pole. Who's probably kept PSG in contention for at least a point. The Almeida gets the better of Damjanovic, scurrying after her. Superb endeavour to win the ball back from the serve. Turns 29 tomorrow. She's putting in a pillar of work up there. Queens goes straight to Chavinga, Vansgaard 
Looked like she was in two minds, whether or not she'd got back onto the right side of the defensive line. She hadn't. have beaten PSG 1-0 in the Champions League before in the first leg of their quarter-final game season 16-17 although that was wiped out and then some when PSG won the second leg 4-0 got to the final that season PSG they beat Barca in the semi before domestic rivals Leon triumphed 1-0 in the showpiece penalty shootout Being an outfield survivor from that team and the PSG team today. Ivana Damjanovic. Clearly disagrees with something. Koshari. Injection of encouragement for the support. Chavinga. One too many and behind it goes. Really well covered actually by Julia Gwynn. Blocked off the route for the cross. Alexander Struch then has to watch his mouth for the rest of the game. As Amelie Vansgaard carves out a corner for PSG. Fazer to deliver. Perfect height for a nice piece of Darman control. He was composed in the first instance. Gioro in the half turn. Hunt has the stretch. Here's Grunin. Damjanovic gets herself in the way. Might have a black eye to go with our birthday cards tomorrow. deliver this time. It's a better one, it's deeper. Gross can't grasp it. And Marta Huerta Diaza rules that she must have been bundled over. And the arm was on her shoulder from Hunt, but it didn't seem to impede her too much.
it's all going to plan for a buyer. Looks like Maria Gross will be okay to continue. The thumbs up from the medical staff indicates such. Just one of the most unique pre-game routines I've ever heard of. Maria Gross. She completes a Rubik's cube in the changing room before matches to take her mind off the impending 90 minutes. She'll have to keep her focus here for the last 15 minutes or so. As PSG don't have really any option but to throw everything they have at Bayern. And they've brought on Ramona Bachman to try and change things in their favour. As Bayern respond by bringing on midfielder Lena Magul. Luca Martins departs for PSG and struggled to make an impact this evening. Almeida. Chawinga, excellent strength to get away from Nash and Bang. But that's an outstanding tackle. The first involvement for Lena Magul. And Marta Huerta de Aza thinks that that's worthy of a yellow card. Well, I suppose the referee's decision is final, but that looks extremely harsh on Lena Magul. Guards. Easily fended off by Nash and Ving, who looks to have taken a painful one in the process as she hops back over the touchline. beginning to become of the essence here for PSG. Bayern let a two-goal lead slip against Roma last week, but the pattern of play doesn't suggest that they'll be under any sort of strain heading into the final ten unless PSG can roll their sleeves up here. And Bayern lose their composure and concentration in defence, which they've shown to a considerable degree throughout the second half, untroubled in the first. Showing. Down the line for Chawinga. Biggest dot is there, and it'll be another PSG corner.
she did genuinely look in pain after helping stop Vansgaard's efforts a minute or so ago. Support from the stands. Certainly shouldn't slow PSG down. It's been constant. Even during the lulls on the park. A change necessary. With Tuva Hansen ready to come on. PSG use the advantage in numbers here. Bachman look to send that one in and it just squirms the wrong side of the post. She thinks it took a touch on its way through. Gross pulled her fingertips away just at the last moment. Katharina Naschenwein's replacement is Innes Bellamu, the French under-23 international. Back on home soil. Piero penalised. Bayern can squeeze in another, it'll end PSG's hopes. Bill's delivery, comfortably all the way through. Just show it. Perhaps PSG can carve out an opportunity here, and the shot is tame. Bachman with her arms asking Fazer, why was that not played across? Oh, she was breaking her neck to get into the box. And Fazer's attempt packed a weak punch. can beat Roma later this evening. It'll make the clash between them and Bayern on match day three even more interesting. Provided Bayern. Hang on here for the next five plus any stoppages. It was Tainara. Brazilian receiving instructions as Damjanovic takes a little bit of treatment. Biggest dot here and Ericsson have been impressive together at the back again for Bayern this evening. Alexander Strauss, a title winner with Bayern in his first season, trying to make a dent in Europe in his second. Tainara comes on for Bayern, formerly played a trade in France as well with Bordeaux. Oh, 
across, shall we? Back for Hunt. Grennan with Bull, who's been on from the start, giving the illusion of fresh legs in her face. So wing up. No way through for her this time. As Gwyn stands tall. But the clearance only goes to Karshawi. Fazer hooked into the path of Bachman. On the half turn, wonderful. Looking to set Gay Oro free. Liz really there for support. Might come back to Bachman. Bayern's backs against the wall. PSG have had the majority of the play in the second half, but still yet to really trouble Maria Gross. Koshevi towards Vansgaard. This could be a rather repetitive pattern for the next five minutes or so. PSG need to throw everything they have at their visitors, but that won't do it. Here's Bill. She's got help if she needs it. Over towards McGill, deflected! And she's away from sealing the points. The substitute, Lena McGill. And in the end, a really important touch from Del Meda, who sent it a bit further away than it may have initially seemed. McGill, time to measure across. Vigas Dottier sends it across again. Gioro will scamper over. Switches passes with Fazer. No use PSG being down here. And no use passes that don't find the feet of a teammate. Shawi dropping the shoulder past McGill with little help. Backman happy to take responsibility. One of the experienced heads on this PSG side gives away possession. Fills Lohman. PSG beaten just once at home in the Champions League group stages against Chelsea last season. 1-0. The same scoreline haunting them here, but they do have seven minutes to forage an equaliser. Although here's Lohman, Delmeida has to rush across. Forward for Bachman. Van's guard just wants that away.
PSG. Coming across is slightly frantic here in their attempts to get further up the park. Fazers outnumbered and outmuscled. Magul. That's intended for Bilamut. Which will ease back. Grenin. Caught late by the French youngster. Advantage played. Adele Meda simply wasn't ready for the press. Picked up again by Bayern. Stanway is asking Bill to get there. Kershawi must have just kicked that in play. Gives it to Groenen. Now Faza. Delaying past McGill. Back to Groenen. Sets her sight for a split second. Gives it to Bachman. Gayoro. Liz really doesn't want it. Bachman happy to take it again. The Bavarians resolute here as Hunt strikes for goal. And that really sums up the desperation and the frustration among the Parisians. There's been no way through this German wall. Instead of three this season, it's been two. That's the magic number for Bayern Munich. They've won five games so far by a 2-0 scoreline. And they've scored exactly two in nine of the 12 games they've played this season. Some two ones, a few two twos in there. But they'll be more than happy with just the solitary tapping from Magdalena Eriksson as the minutes turn to seconds here in Paris. Kershawi. Looking to drop the shoulder. And that came off Gwyn before it trickled behind. No time wasted. Kershawi crosses. Hunts up there! A tad too early from the Australian. And that's harmless for Bayern. PSG have never lost successive Champions League group stage games since this format was introduced in 21. Magul. No need for urgency now. But Chavinga certainly needs it. So did PSG. She robs Gwyn of the ball. Gioro. Fazer, help from Vansgaard. And nobody there in blue to contest. Back it comes to the day. Strong tackle from Bellamu. And that must have deflected off Vansgaard before it went behind. And the spin in the ball would suggest that's the correct call. through to Blomin and Fazer, the teenager with the naivety of youth in full display and that should allow Bayern to kill the next 30 seconds. Next and long. And Bill on the turn, gives it straight back to PSG. This is it for them. 
Unlike the two previous meetings, there's no immediate knockout consequence here to defeat. But this will not bode well for their chances of progression in this group stage. And Bayern have held on. An enormous three points collected into the back pockets of the Bavarians. Oh, they had to contend with wave after wave of Parisian pressure in the second half. But Magdalena Eriksson's tap in in the first is the difference. And the ice PSG are on has just become a whole lot thinner. And at the same time, the plot has thickened. And after losing their two goal leads against Roma on match day one, that's a huge confidence boost for Bayern. On to four points they go ahead of the clash between Roma and Ajax this evening. PSG with no points after two games. A terrible start to the group for them, but Bayern have recovered. It finishes in Paris. PSG nil, Bayern Munich one. for Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas. And we're going to show you how to make a song on a MacBook. I always go into like my garage band and I figure out what melody I want to do. 
that's funny. Yeah, so that's what I'm singing, which sounds hard to believe because that sounds like garbage. Wow. And that is how we made our song, Nice to Meet You. Anyway, bye. It is MMA's richest night of the year. Yeah. Yeah, you remind me of butterfly dogs. Waist tight with a body like goat. Hit you with the belly fresh pose. Google Pixel 8. Red light, green light, go. When did you last really feel something beyond the extraordinary? Feel it now on PlayStation 5. PlayStation. The UEFA Women's Champions League, sponsored by EA Sports FC and Adidas.